Notiano Diambo from Maranda High School, Sea County. David Jonge from Kanga High School in Migori County. Gideon Nungu Moro from my school, Kabara in Akuru County. John Jeroge from Kaguma High School in Yeri County. Slami Kuching, I'm from Maseno School, Kisumu County. Vivian Rehema from Mamangina Girls High School, Mombasa County. InterSwitch SPAC is an InterSwitch Switch a Future initiative. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you to today's episode of InterSwitch SPAC National Science Competition. This show is proudly brought to you by InterSwitch, transaction solutions you can depend on. Switch Pack National Science Competition began with over 1,175 Form 3 students who sat for the national qualifying test conducted by the Ministry of Education Kenya in collaboration with UNESCO. Now it is time to meet our InterSwitch Spark Hero of the Week. Irene Koki Mutungi is the first African female captain of a commercial aircraft. They say the sky is the limit, but the sky was just the starting point for this brilliant lady whose father was a pilot who worked with Kenya Airways. It is safe to say Irene was born to fly as the wheel was embedded in her DNA. After graduating from high school, Irene enrolled into flight school at Wilson Airport, Nairobi, Kenya where she obtained her private pilot's license. She went on to the United States of America to further her education and obtained the commercial pilot's license. In 2004, she became the first African woman to qualify to captain a commercial aircraft when she qualified to command the Boeing 767. She later took and passed a course which allowed her to transition to commanding a Boeing 787 Dreamliner and became the first African female Boeing 787 captain. In December 2014, Irene was named among the 20 youngest power women in Africa by Forbes magazine. Captain Irene Kokimotungi is testimony to the fact that gender boundaries only exist in the mind. Vivian, you've seen the story of Irene Koki Mutungi, the first female captain of a Boeing 787 aircraft. What has that story sparked in you? It has sparked to me that even females can succeed in life. I believe you're all ready for today's competition? Yes. 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 We're about to begin the foundation round. Six contestants, very ready to take the four spots in the advanced round. Let's find out who they will be right after this. In the letters of science, InterSwitch Spark Kenya wishes you a special, comforting, incredible, exciting, nifty, celebrative, extraordinary Christmas and New Year. He was born with no superpowers. He was just unique, with a burning desire to know more. To question the answer, and then question the question. To never stop finding new ways of doing things. Curiosity not only drives innovation, it shapes the future of businesses. So wherever it leads you, InterSwitch will be there, providing diverse digital payment solutions, insights and opportunities. Because 
we are committed to finding better ways to ensure that your business runs efficiently. InterSwitch, transaction solutions you can depend on. Welcome back. This is InterSwitch SPAC National Science Competition, proudly brought to you by InterSwitch, transaction solutions you can depend on. Foundation round question one. What is the addition of 101 to base 2 and 1010 to base 2? Is it 1001, 10110, 11001, or 1110 base 2? The correct answer is option D. Only one contestant got it right. Let's move on to question 2. The maximum fixation of solar energy is done by fungi green plants, protozoa, or bacteria. The maximum fixation of solar energy is done by? The correct answer is option B. All our contestants got it right. <laughs> Question three. Which of this is not an effect of heat on an object? Chemical change, increased number of molecules, change of state or expansion which of this is not an effect of heat on an object the correct answer is option b all the contestants got it right <laughs> question four the image belongs to what class of levers is it second class third class no class or fast class How did you arrive to that answer, Gideon? Because the load is between the fulcrum and the effort. Based on the responses, three contestants got it right while three did not get the correct answer. Question 5. Which of the following substances would have the highest pH value? Is it H2SO4, H2O, HCl or HNO3? Which of the following would have the highest pH level? Option B is the correct answer. Three contestants got it right, while three did not get that particular question correct. Question six will mark the halfway point of the foundation round. If you're ready, here is question six. Where is the element fluorine located on the periodic table shown? Is it two, three, four, or one? Where is fluorine located in the periodic table? The correct answer is option D. With this result comes the halfway point of the foundation round. We still have more questions to go. Stay with us. He was born with no superpowers. He was just unique, with a burning desire to know more to question the answer, and then question the question. To never stop finding new ways of doing things. Curiosity not only drives innovation, it shapes the future of businesses. So wherever it leads you, InterSwitch will be there providing diverse digital payment solutions, insights, and opportunities. Because we're committed to finding better ways to ensure that your business runs efficiently. InterSwitch, transaction solutions you can depend on. Welcome back. This is InterSwitch SPAC National Science Competition, proudly brought to you by InterSwitch, Transaction solutions you can depend on. Our contestants have gone through six questions. They're about to attempt six more. Here is question seven. Which of this is a stringed instrument? Is it the guitar, the bell, the cymbals, or the flute? Which of this is a stringed instrument? Lamek. A stringed instrument basically means 
It's made of wires which are in string form. That's right, string instrument made of strings. All the contestants got this right. Congratulations. <laughs> Question eight. In hospitals, analysis of blood and urine of patients for certain substances can be done by sieving, flotation, chromatography, or fractional distillation. Analysis of blood and urine. How is it done in hospitals? The correct answer is option C. All our contestants got it right. <laughs> Question 9. A mixture whose composition is not uniform is termed as a what mixture? Heterogeneous, multigeneous, compound or homogeneous? A mixture whose composition is not uniform, what is it called? The correct answer is option A. All the contestants got it right. <laughs> Question 10. What does the part labeled 2 represent? The ovary, the stigma, peduncle, or the anther? What is the part labeled 2? The correct answer is B, and that is the stigma which means none of you got this right. Let's move on. Question 11. What is the value of X in the image shown? 12, 13, 15, or 14? What is the value of X? Two contestants got it right. This is the final question in the foundation round. Question 12. Solve the equation 1 over 2y plus 3 equals 1 over 3y minus 4. We are solving for y. Is it 1 over 7? 8? 1 over 8 or 7? Crispin Oteno, you are the only contestant who got this question correct. So tell us, what is the right answer? The right answer is choice D, that is seven. That is right, the right answer is seven. This brings us to the end of the foundation round. Only four of you will be proceeding to the advanced round. It's time to find out who goes home. In first place at 75 points, this contestant is proceeding to the advanced round. In second place, the contestant had 70 points. In third place, 60 points. In fourth place, 60 points points in fifth place 55 points and 45 points it's now time to find out who is going home Lamek Vivian it's been a good race for you so far but you do not proceed further in this competition congratulations for making it to this level let's give them a round of applause as they exit the stage These are the four contestants making it to the advanced round. We'll soon find out how they perform after this. Now you too can be a Sparkster. How? Just play and win in this week's InterSwitch Spark Home Quiz. What is the angle between the minute and hour hands of a clock when the time is 4 o'clock? A. 120 B. 90, C, 60, or D, 30. Text A, B, C, or D to 0793-763-453 on WhatsApp and you could become one of the Baxters to win this week's prize. Entry closes on Friday. Only winners will be contacted. InterSwitch Spark Home Quiz is powered by InterSwitch. Transaction solutions you can depend on. This is your favorite science competition, InterSwitch Spark National Science Competition. Proudly brought to you by InterSwitch, transaction solutions you can depend on. We have the four contestants who are now at the advanced level. In the advanced round, you have the opportunity to determine the subject areas from which questions will be picked. You will take turns to determine five subject areas 
10 questions in total will be picked for you. After that, you'll have 45 seconds in which you will attempt your 10 questions. And at the end of this round, only two of you will make it to the semi-finals. Each correct answer here earns you 20 points. Please note, your scores at the foundation round do not apply here. To determine the sequence in which you'll play in the advanced round, we need to take a turn. Today's take a turn question is a puzzle, which means on your screens, two columns will appear. You're required to correctly match items on the left to those on the right. The sequence in which your answers come in will determine the order of play with the fastest going fast. Are you ready? Yes. yes. This is the take a turn question for today. Match the countries with their capital city. Countries are Germany, Uganda, Greece, Ghana. The capitals are Berlin, Athens, Kampala, and Accra. And we have our sequence of play. Congratulations to our contestants. According to the sequence of your answers, Chris Pinochena, you're going fast, followed by David, followed by Gideon, and finally, John Joroge. Crispin, you're going fast. Are you ready? I'm Crispin. I'm ready to spark. Crispin, now is your time to spark. Freezing and refrigeration are classed as what type of preservation? Refrigeration. Which method of preservation concentrates nutrients in food and reduces its water content? Saltation. How many valence electrons are in the atom of nitrogen? Three. Accurate solutions with pH less than 7 are generally termed as? Acidic solution. The linear expansivity of rod is 1.3 times 10 to the power of negative 4k to the power of negative Pulse. 1. What is its cubic expansion? A sound wave makes eight complete oscillations. It's four seconds. What is its frequency? Two hertz. What is the capital of Tanzania? Dodoma. What is fast is generally accepted term as a means of exchange for goods and services? Pulse. David, it's now your turn. Are you ready? I'm David Njonge, and I'm ready to spark. David, now is your time to spark. The solid part of the earth is termed as what? Plasma. Organisms of the same kind living together in the same habitat form what? An habitat. What type of reaction is represented by HCl plus KOH giving H2O plus KCl? Neutralization. Acids that ionize only partially in aqueous solutions are called? Weak, weak acid. How many weak electrons are there in the L shell of 13 Al? Pass. Which element has the electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2? Magnesium. What is the angle of incidence of a ray of light reflected at 30 degrees to the normal of a plane surface? 60 degrees. What is formed when an opaque object obstructs light? Shadow. That is it for David. <laughs> Gideon and John, we are yet to see you attempt your questions in the advanced round. Take a deep breath. We'll come back after this. In the letters of science, Interswitch Spark Kenya wishes you a special, comforting, incredible, exciting, nifty, celebrative, extraordinary Christmas and New Year. Penicillin, ethanol, flour, sugar, glue, whiskey, corn silk, starch, oil, livestock feed, all from corn. You will discover endless opportunities when you search deeper. And to enjoy their full worth, you need an innovative payment solutions partner that creates value from the obvious and sees opportunity in the not so obvious. InterSwitch, transaction solutions you can depend on. This is InterSwitch SPAC National Science Competition brought to you by InterSwitch, transaction solutions you can depend on. We are in the advanced round. Two contestants are done with their questions. Now we have Gideon and John ready for their turns. Gideon, are you ready? My name is Gideon Mora and I'm ready to spark. Gideon, now is your time to spark. 
All the population of living things that exist together in a habitat is termed as what? Us. A place suitable for the way of life of an organism is termed as? Habitat. What is the value of 37 degrees Celsius on the Kelvin temperature scale? Us. What name is given to the equation PV equals NRT? Moles. What is the largest land known mammal? Uh, elephant. Libya is located in which continent? Africa. Who authored the book Aminita? Us. What Microsoft package is used for presentation? Us. Simplify x over y into brackets the power of 2 multiplied by y over x. Us. Simplify the square root of 9 p squared r squared over pr. 9 pr. John, are you ready? I'm John Jaroge and I'm ready to spark. John, now is your time to spark. The zone of the earth occupied by living organisms is called? A system. The movement of organisms into a new habitat is called? Dispersion. How much heat is required to melt a 2 kg object with specific lactant heat of fusion of 200 Pass. joules per kg? What is the pressure of a 4 meter squared surface if a force of 12 newtons acts on it? 3. Betrayal in the City is a book authored by? Francis Mbuga. Animal is associated with what part of the body? Teeth. What is the radius of curvature of a convex mirror of focal length 12 centimeters? 24. The width of a spherical mirror is termed as? Pa pass. John had 1,500 in his current account. He withdrew 2,450 as overdraft. How much is overdrawn? 1,500. John, your time is up. All our contestants have attempted their questions in the advanced round. Two are going home, two are moving on to the semi-finals. David, what can you say about the competition so far? It's challenging. It's challenging. Well, unfortunately for you, David, it's not time to rest yet. You have made it to the semi-finals. Give it up. And now there's only one slot left at the semi-finals. Who will it be? Will it be Gideon? Will it be Crispin or John? Gideon and Crispin, unfortunately, this is the end of your Spark journey. Congratulations to you for making this far. All the best as you strive for what you believe in. Give it up for Gideon and Crispin. <laughs> Which means that John, who is standing side to side with David, is proceeding to the semi-finals. John, David, I bet you feel happy now. John? Yes. You've even exhaled. What about you, David? I'm happy. What a delight it has been with the emergence of John and David as the qualifiers on today's show, which means that they are moving on to the semi-finals. In the words of Sigmund Freud, dreams are often most profound when they are most crazy. I urge you to dream big. I have been your host, Faith Miner. Till we meet next week, this is Interswitchback National Science Competition, and I wish you a wonderful week ahead.